To begin our spooky, spooky night, we start out with a black piece of paper and colored pencils. I'm going to start with my white colored pencil and draw a horizon line at the bottom of the paper. Finding the center, I'm going to begin drawing a haunted, spooky house. Remember, the more odd and crooked this house looks, the spookier it will be. I add a tower and another tower on the side. You get to choose and make your own haunted house. I add a door and windows. Next, I use my white pencil and lightly draw half of a circle to make the full moon behind the silhouette of our spooky, spooky house. Next, you are more than welcome to add anything else to your house. I'm going to add a fence but this is optional. Now that we are finished drawing our shapes and details, we are going to use a yellow color pencil and color in the moon. Make sure not to leave any empty spaces. Do not scribble. Take your time to make sure that moon looks nice and bright. Once you have finished the moon, make sure to color the inside of the windows. That way it looks like somebody is inside the spooky house. Now for the grand finale, we are going to use our yellow color pencil and draw the movement of the wind as it blows through this spooky crisp Halloween night. Just like Vincent Van Gogh did in Starry Starry Night, we are going to draw wavy organic lines and swirls. We're going to add a few extra lines that follow and complement these swirls. If you'd like to add some stars, you're welcome to do that as well. And then we are going to choose other colors to add to this and follow these curved lines that we first started. I'm going to use blue, purple, white, and orange. I would also like you to notice the variation in the length of these lines. Some are long, but others are short little dashes to complement the movement of this brisk, cold, wavy, windy Halloween air. Try your best to fill in every empty space with a new line and new color. If you are interested in adding grass to your drawing, make sure that when you draw the grass, you make these lines wavy, including the movement of this windy, breezy night. I'm gonna start with green, and then I use yellow and blue. Remember, this is your drawing. You can add anything you choose to this drawing to make it your spooky, spooky night.
Now that we are finished with our drawing, I hope you have enjoyed Spooky Spooky Night, and that now, since you know how to use movement, you can include this in other parts of your drawings. Everybody, have a happy Halloween! <laughs>